Hello, the purpose of this video is to show you how to download and install GPS Babel, which is a GPS data conversion program which converts amongst many different file formats. Our interest in it is converting the GPX output from Microsoft Streets and Trips to a GPX XML file that can be loaded by Garmin's Basecamp. Uh, the demonstration here is on Windows. The program does run on OS X as well as available in source form for Linux or BSD. But since Streets and Trips only runs on Windows or under emulation on OS X, we are only interested in the Windows demonstration. So I have a browser here and it's fairly small so that you can see everything that's going on on, a, on an even smaller screen. The, the screen cap video is being taken on a 1600 by 900 screen, so it's a wide screen, but there's really nothing to the right. It's all the action is on the left. So first we have to go get the file GPS Babel, which we're going to do by going to the website, which is www.gpsbabel.org. And as you can see, there's a couple of big download buttons. Uh, neither of these is, uh, is good to use. They will download extra junk onto your computer from a company called Download 21. It's better to click this download button above here. Downloads, plural. This will take you to a new page on the .org site. And sometimes it takes a while to paint this, to paint this page. Uh, while it's painting, and I will tell you, I'm running Chrome, so how the download goes on your browser will be different. On Firefox, when you go to download something, I think it normally pops up a window to ask you to save the file, or it saves it into a downloads directory. Uh, I'm not sure what IE does. Uh, my advice would be to download and use Chrome. So here we're on the download page. Again, there's a big green download button here and one over here on the right. Both of these will download garbage onto your computer. Um, here's a request for supporting the author because it's free software. Uh, I, I supported him. I encourage you to, especially since this software is quite nice if you're using it to convert GPS formats. Down here, far down on the page, when you scroll down, is the latest release. Here it is for Windows. Here it is for OS X. And here it is in source form because this is an open systems development and uses um, GNU tools. It has to be made available in source form. We're concerned with the Windows version, so this is what we're going to click to download. As you can see, it downloads on Chrome into the, puts a little banner on the bottom of the browser. Uh, now, once you download it, wherever you put it, if it's in the downloads directory for Mozilla or wherever IE puts things, you need to run the file. So we click it. It gives you a publisher warning because they can't verify the publisher. This is ordinary. Click run. There's a fairly standard Windows installer. You must accept this license from the Open Software or Free Software Foundation. Click next. I use all the defaults. Uh, this allows you to create a desktop icon. I generally do not do that. Now it's just going to extract the files and install them. It says it's done and it will launch GPS Babel. Now here's an interesting issue. It launched it and it might be back here. Yeah, there it is. It's back here. This is what GPS Babel will look like the first time it comes up. Um, you'll notice that the up here, the input format, so it says input over here, input format is Allen Map 500 Tracks Logs. I don't know what that is. And there's numerous options. I don't set any of them. Uh, or I mean, I don't mess with any of them. The output is also set to Allen Map 500 Track Logs. Okay. In later videos where we learn how to use GPS Babel, 
you'll see that you have to change these to this alphabetically sort through this alphabetically sorted list to GPS XML. You want to change them both to GPS XML, and it turns out that once you do, the software will remember. So the next time it comes up, I don't change any of these other options. I don't know 100% what they are, but they all seem to work. So we're going to close GPS Babel, and this will conclude on how to download and install GPS Babel.